Uh, my name's Mark Riley and I make balsa wood surfboards in Sydney, Australia. Uh, I first found balsa when I was travelling. I'd broken a board and could see everyone breaking boards there at the time, as regular polyurethane boards. And I heard about balsa wood down in Ecuador. When I got there, I sort of went around looking for balsa and, you know, there's heaps of balsa there, heaps of balsa supplies there. And um, I brought a, some balsa back just to build a couple of boards. Realised how good they were, how much stronger they were, and how unique they were, and how beautiful they were. I think, yeah, my surfboards are art, and a lot of people will say that. To describe the word art is something that's beautiful to the beholder, to the owner, um, has to be unique, has to be different, and you know, something that wants to grab you, grab your attention, or you want to grab it, you want to touch it. There's not 10 or 15 plain same white board standing there in a rack. Every one, one of mine is different, whether it's a nose and tail block, whether it's the rails, whether it's the, there's the these stages of, of these little highs that you get when you complete each little section. And then at the end of it, if you've got a board to ride, there is so much satisfaction in it, just holding it in your hands, looking at it, saying, I built this. But then when you take it out in the water, that's when they, and you catch a wave, that's when the, the satisfaction really kicks in. And, and once you've done one, you know, you get hooked. Build a fish to start with, you'll come back then, build a mini male, you're getting a little bit older, a few more years, then you come back and build a longboard. You know, to create something yourself to go surfing on is even, you know, a bigger buzz or more satisfying than taking a plastic surfboard down there, lying on a plastic surfboard. Where has this surfboard come from? How was it made? What's it made from? You know, no one really thinks that. No one knows what a regular surfboard's made from. And it's really made from some of the base products of petroleum. There is a movement now in the eco-friendly side of things where, you know, people are becoming more conscious and they do want to do the right thing. They can see that they, they're growing in this plastic world and everything's in the throwaway type mode that once you're finished with it, you chuck it away. You can't recycle a surfboard. No, we can't be doing that. We can't be. That's the whole surfing industry, the surfing world is ran by surfboards which are made from polyurethane foam. We need to change it. We need better materials.